John 7.39 Tuta de apen peritu pneumatos ha emelon lambanen hoi pestusantes es auton upo gar en pneuma hoti Jesus udepo edoxaste Right before this, on the last day, the great day of the Feast of Tabernacles, Jesus has said the one who believes in him will have streams or rivers of living water flow out of his inner being. And now we read, Now uh, he said this, there's the apen tuta, he said this about the Spirit, whom, and you know the Spirit depicted in Scripture is a, a person, a personal entity, uh, but grammatically the word spirit, pneuma, is neuter. And so when we have a relative pronoun that refers back to it, it's a neuter relative pronoun, just in the same way if we had the, wor the word technon here, if we had the word for child, a child is also a person, but grammatically we would refer back to a child with the neuter relative pronoun. So uh, he said this, now he said this about the spirit, whom... Uh, those believing in him, hoi pistusantes esautan, those believing in him were about, oh, and that's a verb, just asking, just wanting, just wishing to be completed with a complementary infinitive. Don't you love that? The complementary infinitive that completes the idea, the complementary infinitive. There it is. It's just a present active infinitive. Those believing, whom, the Spirit, whom those believing in him were about to receive. And then we have this explanatory uh, gar clause. Remember that gar will jump second in the clause or sentence, but in English we put those little connecting words first. For not yet was the Spirit. In other words, the Spirit was not yet given as promised in the New Covenant age because Jesus not yet was glorified. Jesus was not yet glorified. That last word do you recognize what that is coming from? Yes, that is coming from doxazo, to glorify. You see the augment, you see the theta, bam, right? That theta is like a big easy chair. Somebody kicking back with their remote control, binge watching <laughs> Netflix. They're feeling very passive. And indeed, that is that theta is the sign of the passive. The augment lets us know it's an aorist passive indicative. That's a third person singular ending. Third singular because the subject is Jesus. Jesus not yet was glorified. And in the fourth gospel here, the gospel of John, this glorification of Jesus clearly refers to his death and resurrection. Jesus had not yet died and been raised to inaugurate the new covenant and the, the gift of the Spirit uh, associated with the coming of the new covenant. And so the Spirit he had not yet been given in that way.